very warm welcome to all of you to an academy which is india's largest online learning portal and today we are going to do the chapter how the dog found himself a new master this is the revision for this chapter and it is from the book honey suckle and this is chapter number 2 so guys let's begin as you already know you can ace your school exams with an academy's plus subscription which is now coming to you at a discount of flat 10% if you use my code SWS10. Also, welcome to my class, dear learners. My name is Sveksha and I am your English educator. It is my passion to learn and teach languages. Apart from English, I know two other languages which are Spanish and French and there are a host of regional languages which I also know. So you can safely say that I am very passionate about learning and teaching languages as I said. And let's begin with the chapter guys it is about how how the dog found himself a new master so let's see what happens in this chapter dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased to be ill pleased means to be not pleased okay who was ill pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering to wander means to just roam around aimlessly okay wandering about himself looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he was so there was this dog born who was very sick and tired of wandering and looking for food and of being frightened of people who were stronger than him he thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become a servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth and he was he set out to find such a master so this dog decided that the best thing i can do is find someone who's stronger who can protect me and i can serve this person a very smart thought he walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce where are you going dog the wolf asked i am looking for someone to take up service with would you like to be my master wolf? I don't see why not, the wolf said, and this agreed and this this was agreed upon. The two of them went together. So the first master of the dog was the wolf. They walked and they walked, and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed, darted quickly off the path and into the bushes, and crept deeper into the forest. The dog was much surprised. What, what's come over you, master? He asked. What has frightened you so? Can't you see? There's a bear out there and he might eat up both of us, you and me. So the dog realized that this wolf is frightened of a bear. Seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf, the dog decided to take up service with him. And he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master. The bear agreed to this readily and said, let us go and find a herd of cows. I'll kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill. So bear agreed and he also had a plan how to uh, feed his servant. Now let's see what happens next. They walked and soon uh, saw a herd of cows. But just as they were about to come up to eat it, they were stopped by a terrible noise. The cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions. So then what happens? The wolf was scared of a bear and let's see who the bear is scared of. The bear looked out from behind the tree and then he too ran hastily, hastily means quickly, deeper into the forest. Now, why did I have to come here? He said, said he to the dog. It is the line, just a one, just a moment guys. And then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest. And now, why, why did I have to come here? Said he to the dog. It is the lion who rules the forest in these parts. The lion? Who is he? Don't you know he is the strongest beast on earth? Well then I'll say goodbye to you bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. So the dog was on a quest to find a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. So he first left the wolf, then he left the bear. And then 
he found lion so lion was the third master okay and off went the dog uh, and asked the lion to be his master the lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him served him for a long long time it was a good life and he had nothing to complain of for there was no one stronger not even a single stronger beast in the forest than the lion and no one dared to touch the dog or offend him in any way but one of the uh, but one day the two of them were walking side by side along the path that ran amid the bare cliffs when all of a sudden the lion stopped okay he gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw with such a force that a hole formed there then he began to back away very quietly what is it master is anything wrong asked the dog surprised i smell a man coming this way the lion said we'd better run for it and we'll be, or we'll be in trouble oh well then i'll say good bye to you lion i want a master who's stronger than anyone on earth and off the dog went to join the man and he stayed with him and served him faithfully this happened long long ago but to this day the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master so that was a chapter in which we learn how the dog finds a master we can see that the dog is jumping from one master to another until he finds the most strong master that there can be in the world so he found the strongest master of all the masters which is man now let's discuss the questions why did the dog fell feel the need for a master so in the first second line we see that the dog felt the need for a master because he was tired of wandering on his own and being frightened of animals who were stronger than him why did he first choose who did he first choose as his master why did he leave that master so what happened he first chose the wolf as his master but he left the wolf because the wolf was scared of the bear and the dog obviously wanted a strong master why did he serve the lion for a long time he served the lion for the long for a long time because lion is very very strong animal and in the jungle no one can even come close to a lion right that is why he served the lion for the longest time who did he finally choose as his master and why so the dog chose man as his master because even the lion was scared of man and that is the reason why the dog chose a man as his master finally and ever since then he has never looked for another master so those were the question answers and the chapter uh, for you i really hope that you have understood the summary of this chapter and the question answer discussion will help you in your exams so let's look at the unacademy subscription features with the plus subscription you get to learn in live classes from top educators of india there's regular doubt clearing and answer writing question there's exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus mentorship and guidance is available there's study material in pdf format practice test live test series and batch courses available the pricing for your subscription is available on the screen and if you use my code sws10 you get a flat 10% discount on this subscription an academy iconic subscription features are on the screen right now you get a personal mentorship you get live doubt solving weekly report you can your parents can connect with us to find out your progress you also get a study planner and you get all the benefits of the an academy's plus subscription the pricing for the iconic subscription is on the screen right now and you get a flat 10% discount if you use my code sws10 So let's crack it guys please like share and subscribe to our channel also press the bell icon so that you never ever miss a class from us i will be back again with another chapter thank you so much and see you all in the next class bye bye